Hello Libras, I'm Christy, you're watching Tiny Turtle Tarot and this is your reading for the week ahead. As always, if anything I say resonates or you feel it will resonate in the future, because obviously it hasn't happened yet, please let me know by liking and subscribing. Let's get on with your reading. What's happening for beautiful Libras this week? The Magician. I've not seen this card come out in a very long time and I'm happy to see it. The Magician is all about manifestation, the law of attraction, or I guess it's not the law of attraction, but for me it is. Um, there's just a feeling here of what you think about, you can bring about. What you believe in, you're creating in your reality. And the fact that this has come out, you might be learning more about manifestation or just in general, you're believing in your own power to create your own reality. You're believing in your own abilities to see the things you want manifest in the material world around you. I really like this energy because I just feel as if you're honing a skill that you are only just kind of coming into more and more. Um, I'm going to clarify it in a second, but first I'll get some more cards. What else is going on for Libras? The Hanged Man. So firstly you have two mages, which is cool. Um, the Hanged Man is spiritual awakening. It's also taking a pause, taking a step back, looking at the bigger picture. Um, if you're in a relationship, you might find it kind of being put on pause or a situation is just a bit stuck. Um, it's kind of like withdrawing for a second to kind of see where it's headed, if it's headed in the right direction or if it's time to kind of, um, where it's time to go next because I just feel as if, I just keep getting, look at the bigger picture, look at the bigger picture, so. Two of Wands, choice, you've got a choice. Two of Wands is also about waiting. You could have been waiting for a while to kind of see something pop up. You were, I get that energy actually really strongly as I'm saying it. You were waiting for a reason to move, to stay. You were like, show me a sign, universe. You were waiting for something else to come to you, for something else to alter, for something else to appear. And there's something this week where you're actually the one that's going, okay, I'm done waiting. Because Two of Wands is a waiting card, but he's looking over the balcony. He knows he has a decision to make, stay or go, accept or not, like, decline, accept, stay, go, which direction, left, right, like, there's something here where you were, like, waiting for someone else or waiting for something else, and you're, like, gonna realise you actually are gonna make the first step towards whatever it is you're heading towards next, whether it be your job, your career, or your relationship, you are just more, like, realising you can't wait for anybody to give you the answer. You have the answer. And if you don't have the answer, go out and just try the first thing. Like, move. Instead of waiting, choose the best one. Choose the thing that you feel more called to. Even if it makes no sense, just do something. Instead of waiting for it to magically become clear. I feel a lot of you, this is your career. You have two things, but you're not sure. And it's like, whichever one is easier, whichever one is more fun and playful and lighthearted, do it. And if it's not that, it will alter, it will change, and you'll be on your path, but don't wait. I feel like that's bad advice because you're not waiting. What I should be saying is you're not waiting anymore. You don't really need my advice at all. That's this week. You're not waiting, you're moving. You're making a decision and you're starting something. Temperance. Uh, temperance. What? Did, I couldn't even tell you why that's here. Temperance is balancing hot and cold. Um, calm energy, right? Tempering yourself. I just feel as if there's a lot of calmness coming over me just from that one card. There's just a sense of once you make a decision, everything is going to settle for you. It's going to settle down. Um, whether that be like a chaotic world around you or a chaotic world inside of you, everything's balancing out the second you make a decision. There's a lot of stress that's being caused from waiting for the right answer and you're going to realise there isn't a right answer. Just do what you want to do. Clarify the Magician. Oh, the Ace of Swords. You could be manifesting clarity, a communication or a win. Um, you're definitely manifesting something that is winning. Like, a lot of people, um, we're always manifesting without realising it, right? So, but you're aware of it because you're creating 
your reality to benefit you in some way of a win. It's very positive, it's very clear. Um, you could be getting very specific about your manifestation, about the thing you want. You're getting down to the nitty gritty details and I really like it because it's going to come true. Clarifying the Hanged Man, Nine of Cups. You are pausing from the action, you're pausing from your relationship, your career. It's just a pause button being hit, but you're going to really enjoy it. You're going to really enjoy seeing things from a new light, from a new level, from a new angle. You're going to really like a new perspective of your world. Um, could be, I don't know why I'm getting, some of you have a new spiritual um, belief or a new, like, what's it called? Um, I've lost my words. You have a new god, in a way, that's not what I'm looking for. A new religion. A new religion to you. Um, not new, but new to you. That's coming in. Usually that would be the Hierophant card, I'm feeling. But no, I'm getting it now. There's something with the Nine of Cups and the Hanged Man. There's going to be something that brings you a lot of inner healing and love. But it's through, like, a god, or it's through, um... A god through God to you, however that is portrayed in your life. There's something um, very much, it's weird because I don't usually talk about God on here, but it's coming through. There's some type of like, something bigger that is bringing you a lot of perspective, I think is what I'm trying to say. It's going to make you realise how small and insignificant you are in the grand scheme of things. You are a tiny little speck in the universe, however this is your universe, this is your world, you are creating what you see around you um but there's no pressure because you're also a tiny blip in everyone else's universe uh, it, i'm pretty much just babbling i'm gonna clarify the two of wands nine of wands don't make your decision because i said you're gonna make a choice you're gonna make a decision where to go next with that two of wands you're going to be the one stepping your foot forward instead of waiting for someone or an opportunity to come to you. You're moving. You're getting on with it. With the Nine of Wands, um, Tarot is advice. Nine of Wands is protected. He's wounded warrior energy. So you might have been hurt in the past. You might have been let down in the past. However, don't take this with you. Nine of Wands comes before the Ten of Wands. And Ten of Wands is letting go of all that you've been carrying. So it's kind of like, if this is advice, let go of this wall. Let go of this guard now because it's going to be a lot to carry with you once you choose a path. It's going to be a lot. You're going to let go of it anyway down the, down the line, down your journey, so you might as well let go of it early so you don't have to carry that. Clarify the temperance. The tower. Oh, okay. And the lovers card. There's something very calming about you. Um, you could have recently broken up with someone um, and it's bringing you a lot of calm. It's bringing you a lot of harmony, of serenity. Serenity is a weird word to come through. But there's a like a very harmonious energy because that temperance card calmed me the second I felt it. And then the towers come out and the tower would not be a calming card. However, I feel as if there's something... This is clarifying temperance. The reason this feels so calm is because you've been in chaos, unpredictable, unprecedented chaos. And when you come out of that, you're getting the opposite with temperance and everything feels very calm. I feel as if whatever it is you've been through, wounded warrior, whatever it is you've gone through, the rest of your life now seems like a walk in the park because you have handled chaos. Whatever that way that is for you, you've handled so much that now everything else seems easy to you. And I don't think other people understand this, but you, they don't get it. But whatever it is, some of you it's relationships, because you have the lovers here. You could have had very, very disastrous, dramatic, terrible relationship. Now you're getting the opposite. And it's going to feel very calm. It's going to feel very good. Because that's there. I'm going to wrap your reading up here. Thanks so much for watching. If anything I said resonated or you feel it will, please let me know by liking and subscribing. And I'll see you next Tuesday for Tiny Little Terror Tuesdays.